103. Sing it again, sing it again. And I would be happy for you to stand up and V. Come on, count you were singing in the studio. Happy for you. I'm happy for you if you got out, if you getting out right now. Well, if you wherever sing a you piece, are. If you sing a little piece, they're going to get out and vote. Come on. Uh, uh, I'm happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Usher is in our studio, everybody. Yay! 741 WVEE. <laughs> Folks Crazy are getting up and they're getting to the polls this morning. It's a beautiful thing, especially yeah. to see the young people getting in the polls. Can I say something, man? Go ahead, man. You walked in the studio. Dude, you look like stress free. I know. Right? He, hell, you he look is. Stre- dude, you look. <laughs> He is stress free. Man, you look like you've been in a spa for two weeks. Like, yeah, I can answer that. That baby's stress free. <laughs> like a bird. He's like a dove right now. <laughs> but seriously, <laughs> Wanda, you didn't notice? No, it? I did. I did. The energy yeah. you came yeah. in, energy you was like, is hey, good. Just like energy's good. Feels good, don't yeah. it? But it's actually, good. energy's always good. But you deserve it's it. It's a Libra. You deserve yeah. it. Dog. How about that? Come on, hey, man. You hey, deserve it. Running it. Yeah. yeah, good energy. You deserve it, man. I'm so happy for you. All the stuff you was going through is over. Yes. You know what I mean? You're focused. Forward. You're moving forward. Yes. You're doing things. I'm ready to go back in the studio and do another album. Hey, me too. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's, this is a good time. Yeah, you know, I'm actually in the process of, you know, working on a few things. I just did a record with Luda. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that, nice. that just launched two home days team. ago. Yeah, it's home team. You know, we we we've been doing music forever, man. Right. And we'll continue oh. to do it. Beautiful. You know, for thing. Both our careers, we've been supportive of each other. But yeah, you know, everything that you see right. is just mm-hmm. a product of just. Moving forward, which right. is a lot of well, a lot of what we need to talk about today in terms of moving forward right. and understanding that you know the the reason why we got out and voted right, right. In the last term was right. because we we felt mm-hmm. like we could make a difference right, and the difference that is being made isn't something that's going to happen overnight because of all of the bad decisions that had been made prior right. to Barack Obama being in office. Right. If we move forward, we have to hold hands. No different than. The actions that were taken to hold hand coming together and right. allowing our voice to be heard right. for simple social rights. Mm-hmm. The fact that people died, were hung in the South. Right. Not that and, long and ago. I don't want, and not that long ago. And I don't want to make this a racial thing because right. it wasn't just black people there as well. There were people right. of all different colors and right. creeds that came together for social rights in America for African Americans. Or ahead. just to potentially have just have a voice. And then, of course... You know, women's rights as well. Right. We're, we're the underbelly of it all. Right. The support. Yeah. That we need together is us holding our hands and a lot us holding hands and moving forward, voting together. Mm-hmm. This right here is an opportunity for us to make a difference. And I like what Al Sharpton said. It's not just the next four years that, that will be affected mm-hmm. by this. The next five decades mm-hmm. will be affected by this one. I just want right vote. Here. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. You know, it's incredible. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I had an opportunity to see the uh, Lincoln movie that's getting ready to come out. Yeah. About Abraham Lincoln. And the whole movie takes place. Right. The whole movie takes place towards the end of the Civil War mm-hmm. when they were doing the vote to end slavery. That's the whole movie is about that vote right there. And it's amazing to see how the country was then mm-hmm. and the fact that there was nobody black allowed to vote. But it was people of all different, all across the country at that time that were fighting and voting for this one thing to happen. And it shows that it can be done. It shows that we can be a unified country. You know what I mean? And it's not always just about race. But what we do and what we vote for affects race in the end. Absolutely. You know? I mean, obviously more significant and relevant to us as African Americans. And I think that because we are a voice that speaks to Mm -hmm. people all over the world. Yeah. You know? We were yeah. just talking about, you know, significant notes that happen or things that happen in the booths here in Atlanta. The world is listening to this. Yeah. Right. You know, but those issues of segregation are personal to us. Mm-hmm. Those issues of women's rights are personal to us. So it's like if you really want your voice to if you want your your voice to be counted, then you got to vote. You got to vote. Right. I know it's hard sitting in this traffic right now. I just sat in it. <laughs> right. You know, I'm supposed yes. to be, you know, headed Somewhere to else. London right now. Right. I'm not mm-hmm. doing that because I didn't want to be insignificant. I didn't right. want my voice to not be heard and my voice not to be counted, my vote not to be counted. So I'm here. I'm here to make mm-hmm. sure that there isn't a, a potential of, of, of disappointment. Some, some people say, you know, like you hear a lot of people like this morning when the young lady called and she was like her boyfriend didn't know if he wanted to get out and vote because he don't feel like his vote is going to be counted. What is that feeling like for you, you know, when you when you stand in that booth and you're actually pushing those you know buttons and, and you're, you're punching that card when you're done? What is that feeling as you're walking out the door, getting into your car? 
I mean, you feel empowered, man. Right. You feel empowered by being able to make a difference through mm-hmm. your vote. Mm-hmm. But for me, it's it's very hard to even hear that, mm-hmm. how mm-hmm. complacent we become right. as a result of things appearing to be better. Right. You know, uh, this young man, whoever he is, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure there may be many of people who feel like that, oh, man, my vote might not count. Right. You know, it's a conspiracy anyway. And, I, I, yo, if you don't use it, yeah, mm-hmm. it won't be count, counted, period. The fact that. People died, man. Yes. People died. They put their they put their lives on the line so that we would be able to have this voice and this opportunity right. to voice. Don't take that for Don't granted. Don't take it for granted and let it yeah. all be in vain. Yeah. They're saying now, I was talking about this earlier, that here in the state of Georgia, it's not just Republican anymore. Like that that thing is changing. Like yeah. they were saying, oh well, yeah, it's Georgia, so it's always gonna be Republican. They said the numbers are going up in the other direction so much. That it's crazy that they say by the next election, mm-hmm. like this could be a Democratic state instead of a There's Republican. Power yes. numbers, Can you imagine we need what that would mean? State. Like it's so much. Yes. There's power like, in numbers. There's, There's power, power in numbers. In, yeah. in, in us coming together. Wow. What do you see? You know, you travel the world a lot. Um, and Wanda and I always talk about this whenever we go places to other country. Yeah. We turn on the news <laughs> and nobody is talking about the united states they're, talk, they're, they're into their own thing that was happening over there mm-hmm. so many times in the united states we think that like this is it the whole world follows what we do but the one thing that everybody knew around the world is barack obama that's right like no matter where you go in the whole world remember wanda wherever you go yes it's like barack obama yeah. it's like no it, it excites everybody yeah. in every yeah. country that that's man right. excites everybody yes yeah. crazy yeah, I mean it's 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 uh it's significant in regards to hope mm-hmm. and the fact that everything that you know was spoken in the first term that helped mm-hmm, us mm-hmm. get to a place where we right. felt like right. we could make a difference was the fact that he spoke of hope right. and change. Right. And that change doesn't happen within one term. No, wow. it doesn't. I remember the first time when I was a little girl, my mom actually was going to vote and I remember us getting in the car and her explaining to me, you know, I had my little goodie bag and she was like, here's your water, here's your little, you know, your banana. I, I remember it like it was yesterday. It's crazy how significant those moments yes. were for us as kids, man. And we stood in line yeah. and we walked and we moved and we talked and she was explaining things to me. And when we actually got to the voting machine, she kind of lifted me up so that I could see what it looked like. So now that I'm an adult, I explain the same thing to my children. Mm-hmm. So that's why I always tell people, too, I think it's a great thing to take your kids so it's not like an alien to them when they get right. older. You know, take your kids, let them see it, let them feel it. And you had a, a conversation with me this morning about one of our good friends took his son to the poll. What, what was he saying this morning? Why are we out here in the rain? It's cold out here. It's raining out here. <laughs> right. He didn't understand. Yeah, but, but he had but, to but get explained to him. this is an experience, yeah. but his dad had to explain, son, there are people that marched in this. There are people that fought for this. You know, he yeah, had to explain to his son. Yeah, like, nothing wow. is more important. And, 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 and honestly, how vivid could it be if it's not realistically there in your yes. face? So right. If you want to see those changes, and yes. you want to see us go back in that direction, then then one, don't vote. All right? That's, that that would be the worst thing you could ever do, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. All right? Let's go to the phone real quick. I, I love this. Good morning. So I left from Florida. I'm in law school in Florida at about 1 o'clock this morning to come here and vote. And I wanted to say my I need spark plugs, my car is um, puttering, my um, brakes are squirreling, my engine light came on. It's raining. I'm caught in traffic over here. I'm 22.8 miles away from my voting spot on paper mill. So I need to tell people if I could come all this way, it's about 820. 20 miles round trip because I have to go right back. They need to get their aces wow. out and vote. My engine light came on probably in Lake Park or something like that. So I put some oil in my car, didn't <laughs> he? I put like a half a quart because I thought they may have been about my brakes are squealing. My, my car is puttering. I'm putting it every time I stop. I'm putting it in park so it won't turn off. So I can go and vote. I remember them days. I don't trust Florida with my vote, so I say I'm not going to register the vote there. And I didn't trust this with my Do advocate. it, sister. Do it. So they need to go vote. <laughs> Hi, Frank and Wanda. Good morning. I was called to let you guys know, hey, I feel you. If I can stand outside at the club in the rain, I can stand at the vote. Uh, All office right. And vote. All right. How important is it? We're live in the studio. Usher is in the building. I know you think I'm afraid. 